every caring and responsible owner wishes for their dog to be as healthy as possible. Luckily for us, caring for a Labrador Retriever isn't as demanding as it is for many other breeds. Well-bred Labradors are relatively low-maintenance, fit and healthy dogs. But your Labrador's continuing health and well-being does depend entirely on you. A nutritious diet, regular exercise, grooming, preventive measures and regular visits to the vet are the real key to maintaining a high level of wellness and good health. All these actions are your responsibility and solely under your control. Before we move on with this video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him or her. Link to the free, secret training technique, guide is in the description below. Making safe your home and garden. Labradors are a lively and inquisitive breed, especially during their first three years so you need to keep dangerous household items out of their reach. You might even need to keep your lab away from entire areas of your home and garden where access to dangerous objects can't be easily controlled. You need to remove sharp objects they may walk over, lay on, rub against, chew etc. Conceal electrical wiring, we all know of their infamous love for chewing. Sharp teeth and electricity do not mix. Don't leave food wrappers and trash lying around. A Labrador can easily choke on wrappings or trash that may be swallowed along with edible scraps. Use, child proofing, catches on cupboards and drawers containing household chemicals, such as bleach and antifreeze. Labs are smart and opening cupboards and drawers soon becomes easy for them. Be mindful of the toxicity of certain plants over 100 plants have been identified as toxic to dogs, so be sure to research any plant before bringing it into your home. Fence of any ponds or pools in your yard. Labs love water, but when your lab's unsupervised, these can present a real danger if your Labrador struggles to get out. The basics of Labrador grooming. Grooming coat care and brushing. It's looking after every part of your Labrador and a time during which you familiarize yourself with your dog's look and feel so you're able to spot any changes that might signify health problems. It's also quality time spent bonding with your dog and strengthening your relationship. Basic Labrador Coat Care and Bathing Labradors are a short-haired breed that don't need much brushing for most of the year. But during the molting season you'll want to brush them regularly to remove shed hair if you want to limit the amount that covers, well, every surface of your home. Brushing also helps to shake loose dirt out of and spread the natural oils throughout their coat for that desirable, healthy glossy look we know and love. When it comes to bathing, Labradors have natural oils in their coat that provide waterproofing and it's highly recommended you don't bathe them too often to preserve this natural property. Frequent baths will strip their oils, leaving them prone to wet and cold in winter, causing dry skin and making their coat look dull and not shiny. Bathe them only if they're particularly dirty and smelly or on a schedule of just three or four times per year. Keeping Nails Trim Most Labradors will need a nail trim every two to three months, although some may never need it. Regularly walking your dog on hard ground, especially sidewalks and roads, will have a natural filing effect and keep your dog's claws in order. You should pay your dog's paws regular attention, inspect them often and don't let them overgrow. If you can hear them rapping on your kitchen floor, it's definitely time to get the clippers out. Personally I've always taken my dogs to the vet for nail clipping, but you can do it at home yourself. Just please ask your vet for instruction first so you know how to do it properly and don't cut them too short. This can make them sore and bleed. And please, use proper dog nail trimmers made especially for the task, don't hack away with human nail clippers. Ear care. What with a Labrador's slightly drooping ears and their love of water, the inside of their ears can sometimes retain too much moisture, causing bacteria to build up and infections to form. You should check your Labrador's ears regularly to make sure they aren't red, inflamed or have a high buildup of wax. Dental care. This is possibly one of the most neglected areas of pet dog's health, we really should pay more attention to it. Just some of the problems a Labrador may have with its teeth are gum disease, loose teeth, cracked or broken teeth, root abscesses and a buildup of tartar. These can be very uncomfortable for your dog and can lead to further problems if neglected. 
Therefore, you need to inspect their teeth regularly, take measures to clean their teeth and even visit a professional canine dentist every six months or annually for a thorough checkup and any necessary treatments. Treat their teeth like you would your own. Dealing with parasites. Controlling fleas, ticks and other parasites is essential for keeping your Labrador healthy. Immediate problems include extreme irritation and skin sores, but extreme infestations can lead to more dangerous problems including Lyme disease and tapeworms. If you stick to a regular grooming schedule hacking for external parasites is an easy task. Regular visits to the vet. You'll want to make sure your Labrador has regular visits to a vet, not only when they're showing signs of an illness. A vet will perform a full health check and could discover things with their knowledge and specialist tools that aren't immediately visible to the untrained or unskilled eye, such as a heart problem or diabetes. It's also very important for your dog to receive regular vaccinations. Vaccinations. A number of potentially fatal diseases Labradors are prone to can be prevented by vaccination. Diseases such as distemper, rabies, hepatitis and parvovirus to name just a few. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the Little Paws Training channel if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.